Hey everybody, so today we are going live and we're going to talk about the new Facebook algorithm. So I want to give us a few minutes just to get uh, people online and so they see the live video and I am going to pull it up so I can see your comments on the computer and uh, share the video so that way uh, we get a little bit more uh, people watching the video. Uh, as you come online, uh, say hi in the comments just so that I know you're there and uh, so I can acknowledge you. So, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Anybody there? All right, so as you come online, there we go, next here. All right, so uh, say I'm here in the comments just so I know you're watching this and uh, we'll get started in a minute or so. And uh, we are talking about the new Facebook algorithm and what that means for us as business owners. If you want to as well, um, put uh, what it is that you do um, in the comments as well. All right, so uh, I guess we're getting started. Um, so if you haven't watched any of uh, my other videos, um, I'm Nicole, and yes, Nick, I do. And <laughs> please share this, you guys, uh, share this video, um, so that way uh, other people can see it, because I think this is a really important topic, and there's a lot of uh, things happening right now uh, regarding it. So uh, let's uh, spread the word a little bit that way. Um, so if you guys haven't watched any of my uh, other videos or you're rewatching. Uh, this after it's uh, no longer live. Uh, I'm Nicole. I am from AIM Social Media Marketing and I help business owners uh, figure out uh, their social media, get them set up and uh, teach them um, how to market themselves online and uh, do education, that kind of thing. So, all right. Um, Give this another minute. Okay, so have you guys seen the uh, the headlines right now? So two days ago, uh, Mark Zuckerberg uh, and Facebook announced that there is a new algorithm and um, it's going to change how things are being uh, done. So uh, we want to talk about it because I know there's a lot of people uh, who are a little bit concerned um, about what this means for their business. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to um, talk about what the misconceptions uh, are regarding that. And uh, as the phone rings and <laughs> now the furnace kicks on, I just want to say uh, if there's background noise, um, I live with a family with uh, five other people. So uh, we did announce that there's going to be a live video. And uh, so if there's noise, I apologize. I have no control over what's happening with them. Um, so Facebook just released two days ago, they released a, um, a announcement saying that the algorithms are going to change. And I will drop the link to the actual announcement in the comments so you guys can read that. Um, so they, what they're doing is they're changing the news feed and they're going to focus more on uh, people in um, what they're seeing in the news feed. Uh, and they, they're, they're, uh, they're putting more value on giving a better experience for people uh, on the Facebook platform and um, 
providing a better experience for people to interact with the friends and family. So know when you scroll through uh, Facebook and all these companies come through and um, you don't really find any posts from your family anymore. It's just kind of advertisements and uh, people selling their latest product and that sort of thing. So they're changing this up a little bit to um, to make it easier for people to uh, interact with other people. And so they're really focusing on building a community, which uh, is really good, but a little bit scary for people who don't know really what's happening with their social media. So um, I see that there's a few people coming on. So when you uh, come on, just say uh, hi in the comments so I know who you are who's watching. And uh, uh, if you are a business owner, put in the comments what uh, business you are in. So I've uh, the last day or so I've been seeing a lot of uh, articles and saying uh, like it's the news feed apocalypse. Um, Facebook pages are dead. Reach is gone. Um, it's Facebook zero. And uh, hi, Joanne. And um, so people are uh, getting a little bit nervous about this new algorithm. So we want to kind of change that and help people uh, know a little bit more about what that's about and we're going to talk about what that really means so before we do that though just so that we get more people um, aware of what's happening um, and uh, we can educate more people uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, going and sharing uh, this video in your time feed uh, news feed and if you know somebody who is a business owner and they have a Facebook page if you comment uh, tag them in the comments then they will be able to see this video or they'll be able to watch the playback if they don't have time right now uh, just so that way uh, more people know about uh, what this is and we can uh, kind of address it so there's a lot of news reports saying uh, that organic reach is going to go down and this is what you need to understand so Facebook um, I watched a live video earlier today and a few of them yesterday. So face, uh, essentially what social media managers are saying um, is that uh, Facebook is a platform that is monetized. So uh, Mark Zuckerberg produced a quote, which I'm going to share the direct link uh, to that as well in the comments of the video so you guys can check that out. Um, so what he is saying is that uh, research shows that uh, strengthening our relationships improves our well-being and our happiness, which I think we can agree that that is uh, true. So most people go on Facebook um, to interact with their friends and family, um, and that's fair. That's kind of what uh, social networking is for. Um, in the comments, tell me, what, uh, what are the reasons why you go on Facebook? What do you use Facebook for? So I know for me, um, Facebook uh, is a great way to connect with people, not just um, my friends and family, uh, but people that maybe are in similar interests to mine. Um, I am part of a social media uh, marketing group, and it's funny, we joke all the time about how um, our newsfeed is 100% uh, this group now because we spend so much time in it, uh, which is a good thing in a sense because uh, it's stuff that uh, we want to see. Um, and we're going to actually talk about how that happens and why the algorithm does that and how this update is going to change that. So, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, he says, relationship, or sorry, uh, research shows that strengthening our relationships improves our well-being and happiness, which I have to agree is true. Joanne uses her Facebook for awareness of her work. Exactly. That's what um, uh, a lot of people do as well. So he also says, uh, that the public content uh, you'll see more of is held to the same sort of standard. Um, it should be encouraged meaningful interactions between people. So I read that and I was like, oh, guys, this makes perfect sense. So the algorithm essentially is saying um, Facebook should be a place where you can connect with your friends and family. And we want to offer value for this. We don't want this to be a place where you just have to see a bunch of crappy advertisements. And um, we want people to enjoy their experience on Facebook. That makes perfect sense. Um, and the people who you do see um, on Facebook, the, the companies that you see on Facebook in your newsfeed, those are going to be companies that are offering 
meaningful interactions with you, they're engaging with their audience, and they're providing value, which seems like a perfect idea. Um, so, I guess what it comes down to, um, this al new algorithm is not going to destroy all your efforts on uh, Facebook. If anything, it's going to help you. And I'm going to tell you how that's going to help you and how you can make this a good thing for your business instead of being afraid of it because there's really no reason to be afraid of this new algorithm. So uh, when it comes down to it, uh, one keyword is engagement. So I talk all the time about um, consistency and that's a big thing that uh, I blog about and I mention all the time when I'm teaching my courses, you have to be consistent. But there's another word in there too which I think um, goes hand in hand with that which is engagement. So if you're being consistent on Facebook, you're posting regularly, and then you're engaging with your audience consistently, you're going to get farther. So if you see a Facebook page and they're using it as a broadcasting, we have a sale going on and this is happening, and when you look in the comments, they're not responding to anybody, people are asking questions, No, nothing's happening, there's no engagement, um, you kind of know the company's not, uh, the business isn't there paying attention to what you're saying, and you might not feel valued. So this is going to change that, which is going to be a really awesome thing. So the companies that you do see in your newsfeed are going to be the companies that are engaging. They are building a community online. They are wanting to be a part of the great things happening on, uh, on Facebook. And we're going to talk about a few ways that you as a business owner can make that possible. So the first thing, um, is be human and <laughs> I, I've mentioned this in a few of my courses as well it's really easy to set up an automation uh, where your posts go out and uh, that's it nobody else sees it um, or the people do see it but you're not engaging you're not asking questions you're not building a community online so you want to be as human as possible you want people to um, to interact with your your community so you want to stop using it as broadcast um, and start building a community online so Facebook groups are really great for this you see in the groups a lot of people are engaging they're asking questions uh, they're responding to comments all that fun stuff but a lot of people are forgetting about their Facebook page um, so actually the reason why we started this video is I have a free Facebook group um, that business owners are in and somebody asked me so what's happening with this algorithm what are we gonna do and uh, how do we work with that? So I, I was gonna do a live video in the group and I was like, you know what? This is exactly what we're talking about. We need to be building this community on Facebook pages as well. So that's why it's on the Facebook page. And um, so a lot of companies you'll find, especially on Twitter, uh, you follow them and it's the exact same comment uh, content that they're posting every single day um, or multiple times a day and um, it's the same stuff and it gets old really quickly. Um, if, uh, if you see on Facebook a company and they're posting the exact same thing regularly, you're eventually you're not even gonna see it anymore. You're just gonna scroll past it. It's kind of part of what you see. You kind of become immune to it. And this is going to, this algorithm's going to stop that. It's gonna prevent that from happening. And, um, build a better uh, platform for you as a user and for other users on Facebook as well. <clears throat> so what you need to do to make sure that your your social media is uh, or your content is being seen by other people is analyze it. How is it doing? Are people commenting on it? If they are commenting and are you responding to it? Are they engaging? Are they liking, uh, loving it, uh, sharing it? And uh, are they clicking on your links? If none of that's happening, it's kind of useless. It, there's no point in posting something if nobody's seeing it, nobody's engaging with it at all. So we want to stop posting things that aren't engaging people. If you notice that uh, there's a certain post kind of post that you're doing, a certain type, and it's not working and people aren't engaging with it, then stop doing it. If you find that you're, uh, something you're doing is working and people are really engaging in it, then keep doing that. Do more of that. You want to do what your following uh, is is wanting and what they're engaging with. So the algorithm looks for engagement cues. So I'm going to explain um, what an algorithm is. 
uh, one of the live videos I was watching explained this really well and I was like, you know what, actually that makes a lot more sense than uh, what I've heard before. Um, there's a lot of different ways to explain it, but this made the most uh, sense for me. So your algorithm is looking for engagement cues. They're looking to see if your content is relevant um, to you as a user. If it is, then the algorithm is going to send it to more people. Uh, so you can work with that. You can make sure that this algorithm works in your favor. It's not gonna happen overnight though, especially if right now your Facebook has no engagement, you post something and it's just crickets, nobody hears or sees anything, then we can change that, we can work with that. Um, so when you post something, essentially what the algorithm does is, let's say I post an article uh, to my blog and um, it sends it out to 10 people and nobody clicks on it, nobody cares, it's gonna stop. It's not gonna send it out to more people because it's not considered relevant um, in the Facebook algorithm uh, view. So, but if I post a question to people and a lot of people are engaging, they're answering the question, um, then it's going to get out to more people. So that being said, I'm gonna stop for one second and if you are watching this right now, I want you to post in the comments to say I'm here or something, just so I know you're here, that you're watching and um, that should help build a little bit of engagement as well and that's something um, we're gonna to have to get in the habit of doing is asking people to engage, which people have said that that can actually harm you and I'm gonna talk about that as well. Uh, Cause, yeah. So, um, so the algorithm essentially, if they send uh, your content out to 10 people and nine people click on it or they love it or they uh, share it and they really um, enjoy it, then it's gonna to continue to share it out to other people. Uh, So people, um, I've read a few different articles, especially in the last uh, maybe week or so, um, saying that people who are asking for call to action, so if they're saying like this page or um, comment below or things like that, that's not going to get, um, Facebook's gonna penalize that. What um, they're missing though is the engagement side of things. So if we are saying uh, comment below and people are commenting and they find that this uh, content is valuable, then Facebook's gonna keep showing it to other people. Facebook wants to offer people the value in the, the posts that, um, that other people wanna see. So if it's not getting anywhere, then it, they're gonna penalize it, they're gonna send it out. But if people are engaging, then absolutely they're gonna keep using that as well. So. What we need to get in the habit of doing is using f the Facebook page as a community. Um, it's really easy to do this in a Facebook group and ask questions and encourage people to um, ask questions themselves. Uh, but what we need to do is start doing that on our Facebook pages as well. So on your Facebook page, ask questions. Open it up and say, does anybody have any questions about this topic? Um, does anybody have any questions about Pinterest or about uh, email marketing and open the floor up to other people encourage other people to ask questions and then on uh, Additionally encourage people to else other people to interact if you know the answer then absolutely put your two cents in if you um, Have an opinion about it. Absolutely share it um, We want to get more people engaged and involved and build a community um, Instead of just kind of broadcasting and sharing your own stuff and trying to drive people uh, using Facebook as a driver to get people onto your website or to sign up for an email list um, or that sort of thing. So you want to focus on engagement first and then we can look at sales or we can look at um, lead generation or driving people to new websites or to your website. You want to engage first then everything else comes second. Uh, so essentially, I uh, another live video that I watched uh, last night, it, <laughs> they, they said that this new algorithm is essentially going to hinder the lazy marketers, the people who are just posting and they're not doing anything. Uh, other than that, they're not engaging with their audience. It's gonna hinder them. You're not gonna see them as much in your newsfeed, uh, but the people who are commenting and sharing, those people are gonna show up um, a lot more. So, uh, essentially, all these people who have been posting and they're just broadcasting out their content, um, they're not really doing anything, those people aren't going to disappear. But the people who are engaging and they're responding to comments, 
um, and engaging with their following, those people are going to show up more. So essentially what it comes down to is they're wiping out all the people who aren't trying and that gives us a lot more room to work with. Um, and we can do a lot more that way. It doesn't have to be a hard thing. Um, you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours on Facebook trying to make it work. You just simply have to engage. So uh, a cool thing that I, I found, uh, heard about was they call it engagement looping. So essentially it's a three step. So when somebody comments on your video or on your post or something, um, you're going to respond back three different times. So if you are watching this video right now, then I want you to comment what your business is or what you use Facebook for. Either one of those two, put that in the comments. And uh, after this video, I'm actually going to do engagement looping for each one of your comments. And I'm gonna show you how it works and um, how effective it can be. So the first step you wanna do, um, so uh, when somebody leaves a comment um, on your your post or your article or on your video, the first thing you wanna do is respond with an emoji. Which, if you aren't using emojis, now is the most absolute time to use it. Uh, people see pictures better than they see words. So first step, leave an emoji. The second comment that you're gonna post is a statement. And then the third one you're gonna do is ask an open-ended question. This is going to encourage people uh, to come back and respond again. So if uh, I know there's somebody who's gonna watch this live video after she's the one who asked for the video, um, she works with dogs. So if she posted a uh, cute picture, or sorry, if I posted a picture of a dog and she comments, she's like, oh my gosh, I love dogs. I'm gonna respond with a comment and an emoji of a dog and maybe a face with little hearts on it. Um, and post that one. The next thing I'm going to do is say, oh my gosh, I love dogs. I always wanted a dog um, and uh, leave it at that. And then the third thing I'm going to do is say, so how many dogs do you have? Or do you have any dogs? Some sort of question that gets them to respond back. So ideally this is going to bring more people back to your post. Um, so if you're watching this, I just saw a few more people just join. So if you're watching this, I want you to leave in the comments, what is your business? and um, why do you use Facebook? Either one of those, and I'm gonna actually do engagement looping to show you how it works, and hopefully encourage you to do it as well. So, the second thing we're gonna do, so engagement is a huge thing, but the second thing that uh, you're gonna notice a lot more of is video, live videos. So I could have done a pretty little uh, blog post and wrote all this out and posted it on my website and then posted it on Facebook and left it at that, I didn't have to set up a uh, Facebook Live and work around people um, in my house and, and make a big deal of this. I didn't have to do that, but I know it's going to be better overall and it's gonna get the word out more uh, efficiently. So Facebook actually in um, Mark Zuckerberg's quote that I shared in the comments earlier, he says that uh, the people, people interact more with live videos than they do regular ones. So the more live videos you're doing as a business owner, uh, the more effective your Facebook page is going to be. Uh, Facebook loves Facebook. So if you were using Facebook Live uh, on your social media, then it's going to get more people um, engaged. The algorithm is going to love it um, and uh, it's going to work with you that way as well. So I hope that explained everything. If I'm going to give it a minute, if anybody has any questions about the Facebook algorithm or uh, they have any concerns or they've heard something they're not sure about, if you ask me in the comments, I'm going to answer it. Um, and then if you are watching the uh, replay and uh, again, you have questions, leave them in the comments and I'm absolutely, I'm going to go back and I'm going to answer those questions for you because I want everybody to understand that this new Facebook algorithm is not the end all. Um, it's not the death of Facebook. If anything, it's going to make this a lot easier. What if you are camera shy? You know what? I sat here, the video was supposed to start at 4 o'clock, and I sat here from uh, maybe 3.55 to 4 o'clock going, oh my gosh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I have to get myself pumped up to do this. I hate being in front of the camera so much. But you know what? Um, it gets easier over time. Um, 
and uh, you just kind of have to go with it and as much as uh, you don't like being in front of the camera <laughs> um, it's going to uh, it's gonna help you long long term and uh, Jesse says me too yeah absolutely the best thing to do is just just rip the band-aid off go ahead do it and then uh, see how it goes I know I did a live video a few weeks ago and I opened a promo box and there was a little stamp and I had no idea what it was and I squeezed it and it just flew um, and I looked like a complete spaz but I went with it and I still posted it and um, you just kind of have to work with what you have and uh, not worry about the rest. Is there any other questions? Alright, so if you are watching this video, uh, please share it so other people know what this algorithm is and um, what this means. And I just had somebody else. Okay, awesome. Sharing what their business are and what they do. Um, so share it with your friends. Uh, hit the like button or something. <laughs> the like button or the love button or whatever it is. Or the laughing button because... Um, I could be super awkward and weird sometimes and that's okay just laugh at me and uh, in the comments post what you use Facebook for and um, if you have a business what is your business post all that in the comments I am going to end this video if nobody else has any questions on the Facebook algorithm five four three two one okay you guys have a fan fantastic week and if you have any other questions leave them in the comments i'm going to respond back to you and other than that enjoy your week <laughs>